Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, an evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee, behold, it is come. First and foremost, only of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops with great millstone. The one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear evils, meaning bad times, and only evils, meaning more bad times. Bad times, bad times, bad times, bad times. That's all you're going to see. What part of the scripture don't you get? But oh yeah, once again, everybody's telling you that everything's going to be fine. It, it ain't. All right? It ain't going to be fine. All right? The economy is not bouncing back. Rent is not going down. Crime is not going down. The love of many, wax and cold, is not going to go down. Are you not seeing this? Earthquakes are going to continue. Hey, I'm looking at the news now. Curious George every day. Well, it's not going to stop. Because the Lord said evils and only evils behold has come. That's it. He didn't say evils, then peace, then peace, 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 then maybe some more evils. No, evils, evils, and more evils, man. Ezekiel, a, look, a quick little hit through the spirit, man. Let us all keep our eyes on the prize. The Lord, look, seeing all these things shall be dissolved. Seeing all these judgments go forth, how should we be acting? Should we be acting like assholes or should we be fearing the God of the Bible, man? All right? You, 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 you pick a choice. You choose. You see? Ezekiel 7, 5, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, who they eagerly call God and Jesus. In evil, that's what they're, they're saying. They're saying this. I'm just a reader. In evil, meaning bad. Time. Look up the word for the evil, man. Look up the definition of the word evil, right? It goes into bad times, man. Eve meaning time, ill meaning bad. Bad times and evil. And only evil. Behold, it's come. I mean, people are doing the most vicious things to each other. That's why we got to stay the hell out of the way. Let these people have it, man. All right? People, look, the scriptures say friends are going to fight against each other like enemies. That's happening now. Hell, I'm, I'm looking at the news. Shit, this woman um, beat up some people at the hospital. And stole her damn baby out of the hospital. Come on, man. It's going down. Home invasions. Plane crashes. You, you just name it, man. Plagues. And end is coming. End of this age. That's why it's good. That's why you see these things happening. It's getting more violent. Because we're at the end. It's a transition of power. All right? And this is what happens when it's a transition of power, man. M more witches and warlocks every damn well. An end is come. Remember, sleazy E is the end of an age, and Jacob is the beginning of it. The fall. This is how it looks when it's a transition of power. It's gonna get real chaotic. So come, man. More than what you're seeing now. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is coming, man. It is come. That's what the Lord said. Seek him. Seek him in the days of your youth. Because the Lord is making everything. Hey, we go through this all the time. We go through these scriptures all the time of who's making everything happen. No one can control it. The Lord's controlling it. Oh, yeah, we're going to march for peace. We're going to hold hands. We're going to put on our white shirts. And, and the Lord going to strike all y'all the hell down with some lightning. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. We went through the word evil earlier, meaning bad times. The Lord said, I create the bad times. That's why nobody can't stop it. You can't stop if it's going to be peace on the earth, and you damn sure can't stop if it's going to be bad times on the earth. You can't stop a storm from coming. You can't stop the Lord from flooding a city. 
You can't stop the Lord from, from creating war or striking somebody down with lightning. You can't control, control nothing, man. Because all being controlled by the Lord, let's read it again. Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, all caps, the Most High Yahweh, who they, who they call God, do all these things. Things through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call Jesus, man. So, this, this is who we should fear. This, this is who we should fear. You see? Let's, let's get another one. But our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, though. They don't want to fear the God of the Bible. You Israelites that don't want to fear the God of the Bible, you're going to fear everything that they got coming down the pipeline. Hell, you can't even drink the water. Who, who made that happen? Of, of course, the Lord uses individuals. You see? Scott Peterson. Come on, man. I, Psalms 83. Psalms chapter 83. Psalm chapter 83, verse 15. So persecute them. With thy tempest, and a tempest is a mighty storm, and that's exactly what the Lord been doing lately here. Persecuting these people. Look up the definition for the meaning of the word persecute. You got all these damn um, different counties of uh, police officers quitting. Yeah, we got a county in Colorado. You got a county in North Carolina. The damn whole police force just quit. You got people being ravished on the streets, and the police just driving right past. That, that's some evil for you, ain't it? Psalms 83, 15. So persecute them with thy tempest, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and make them afraid, very afraid, very afraid with thy storm. So what's the Lord doing? And when those storms come through, shit, a whole lot of people, what, what, what was that at? Uh, it, was, it was something that went, something got flooded. Uh, what was it, yesterday? And all kind of people, uh, the water came over the damn house, man. Water came over the damn house. Won't know where to run. Won't know where to hide. But oh yeah, it, we, we, we don't know what the hell we talking about though, right? Huh? We, we don't know what we talking about. The Lord is all nice, all right? The Lord is all nice and it's going to always be a bright sunny day, right? Come on, man. You see, China doing military drills right about now, live exercises. You see, Taiwan holds live fire exercises. We're living in a time of war. St. Matthew chapter 10. We're living in a time of war, man, and you playing around. St. Matthew 10, 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, straight up destruction. Straight up destruction. For I am come to set a man in various against his father. Everybody is at odds. Everybody is at odds. Hell, you had, you had one dude just walk, walk down the street with a head in his, in his hand. Just, just walking down the street with a head in his hand. You see? Was. I am come to set a man at various against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Is that not happening on the earth more than a little bit, huh? And a man's foes, his enemies, shall be they of his own household. You see, a supermoon, another supermoon is coming. It's tonight. Another supermoon is tonight. It's going down, man. The Lord said you're going to be seeing signs in the heavens. You got more lunar eclipse, more super moons. Cherry inside. Look at that cherry. There was a cherry right there on the news. There's a cherry right there on the news, man, coming through. They hair up and turned that off. Come on, man. You, you can't make this up. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Remember, the love of many, they wax the coal already. Since I'm in Matthew, let me just get this right quick and I'm gonna close out. Just wanted to get, just wanted to get something right quick, man. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. We're seeing all that happen. Why? Because the Lord, and this red letter, 
You can't stop it. You can't stop wars. You can't stop talks of wars. All right? See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. And it's a transition of power too, so you know it's going to come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Why do you think they're doing these military drills? They ain't doing it for nothing. It's going down. The Lord mustereth the battle, man. All right? For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. All right? And pestilences. Hell, I went to the grocery store yesterday just to pick up some watermelon, some uh, oranges, and some bananas. Shit is getting expensive, Israel. All right? Things are way, way past expensive. Yeah, then you still got to think about your rent, your light bill, your water bill, your internet, things of that nature, and just necessities. Come on, man. Famines and pestilence, curious George, swinging from vine to vine, Lucretia, Tanisha, Felicia, you know, all the above, man. And earthquakes, you got heavy infestation of bed bugs, rats, roaches. The signs of a kingdom going down. Down. You see? In earthquakes in diverse places, all these are the beginning of sorrows, right? And the love of many shall wax cold. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And you, you see it. That's why we got to constantly pray to you. How about Shemir? I'm trying to keep us more spiritual than Connor. Why the serpent harms his doves? Because it's easy to snap out here, man. It's easy to lose it out here, man. You see? Demons all on these people, man. Let's read on, though. Verse 21. Then, for this shall be great tribulation. All hell really breaking loose. Such was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. And it ain't never been like this before. That's what the Lord is saying. The Lord said, I'm, I'm getting ready to really make it pop off. It ain't never popped off like this, but it is. Take all these different time periods and put them together. And what is the Lord saying? It ain't never been this bad, but it's getting ready to be. And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Evils and only evils. Shalom.